Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to walk you through a hands-on lab set up for configuring and verifying IPv4 addressing and subnetting in a small network environment. In this lab, we will be using a Cisco router, two switches and two PCs in order for us to demonstrate the fundamental concepts of IP addressing, subnetting and network connectivity. By following along with this lab, you will gain practical experience in setting up and testing a basic network infrastructure. So without further ado, let's walk you through the topology first and then look at the objectives of this lab and then go through the configuration steps. Now I'm going to walk you through the topology. As you can see on the screen, the topology consists of two PCs that are connected to two different switches. Each switch is then connected to router gateway. We can see from PC0 is connected to switch 0 via fast ethernet 0 and terminate at fast ethernet 03 on switch 0. And switch 0 is then connected to router gateway via fast ethernet 0 and terminates at gig ethernet 000 on router gateway. Similarly, with PC1 is connected to switch 1 via fast ethernet 0 and terminates at fast ethernet 03 on switch 1. And switch 1 is then connected to router gateway via fast ethernet 01 and terminates at gig ethernet 001 on router gateway. So if you look at the video description below, you will see that I set the lab instructions so that you can go ahead and challenge yourself at your own pace. You can pause the video now and go ahead and give it a try. Otherwise, I would just carry on. So in the real world, one of the things that you would do before you make any configuration changes is to back up your configurations and perform something called pre-checks. So pre-checks is a set of commands that are compatible with your network environment. This helps you to check the hardware components as well as the software components and ensures that the network is healthy and is ready for config changes. You then perform the changes and in the meantime, you do something called in-flight checks where you check the configurations that have been taken successfully. Then once you have completed with the network configuration changes, you then perform something called post checks. Post checks pretty much similar to pre checks is just after the change. So what I would do first is I will go to router gateway CLI and start making some changes. So what I would do, I will click on that router and I'll go to CLI. I will hit enter and then I will go to enable mode where I would enter privilege execution mode. And then from there, I'll go to global configuration mode by entering configure terminal. And from there, the first thing that I will do, I will change the host name from router to router underscore gateway. And then I will hit enter. Then I will go to interface configuration mode by typing interface gig ethernet zero slash zero slash zero and what I will do next I will say IP address and then I'll just move my screen here so that I can see the IP addresses that have been assigned to each interface 192.168.0.1 and the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 and what I will do, I will say no shot down. That will enable the interface. And then I will say exit to exit out of the interface configuration mode. And now I'm in global configuration mode. And then what I'll do, I will go to interface ethernet zero slash zero slash one. And I will say IP address 192.168.1.1. And that is going to be slash 24. 255.255.255.0. And then I will say no shot down as well, or no shot. So at this point, I have configured both interfaces with the corresponding IP addresses that has been assigned. 
And what I will do, I will verify this by saying show IP interface brief. And if I expand this, you can see that gig ethernet 000 is assigned with this IP address and the state is up and the protocol is up. Similarly with gig ethernet 001, 192.168.1.1, the status is up and the protocol is up. So now that I have configured the router, what I would do, I will actually save the configuration by issuing copy running config startup. At this point, router gateway is completed successfully. What I will do next, I will go to PC0 and then I will go to desktop. First of all, just to show you the current config, if I go to the CLI and issue some a command called ipconfig, that will tell me fast ethernet zero doesn't have any configurations at all. So if I cancel this and then go to IP configurations and in here, I'm under IP configuration for fast ethernet zero interface, I will set the IP configuration to static rather than DHCP. And then in here, I would say 192.168.0.100. And the subnet mask is going to be slash 24. And the gateway is going to be 192.168.0.1. So now what I will do, I will cancel this. I'll go back to my command prompt, the CLI, and I will issue the same command. And you can see that the changes have been taken successfully. So what I will do now, I will try to ping the default gateway, which is 192, or I would say ping 192.168.0.1. And you can see that I'm able to ping successfully the gateway. So PC0 is being able to ping the gateway, which is 000, or the gateway interface, which is gig ethernet 000. And that has been done successfully. Now, if I try to ping the other computer, 192.168.0.1, you can see that the ping will fail because I haven't configured the PC one yet. Okay. So what I would do, I will close PC zero and then I'll go to PC one and then PC one, I will go to desktop and I will do the same thing. I will say IP config, you can see that has no IP configurations on it. So I'll cancel this. I'll go to IP configurations. And in here, I would say 192.168.1.100. And that's going to be slash 24. And the default gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1. Now that I'm happy with the changes, I'll cancel this, go back to my prompt and start typing IP config again to verify the changes. And you can see the changes are successful. And now what I'll do, I will ping the default gateway, which is 192.168.1.1. And you can see that the ping is successful and we are receiving an echo message reply. So what I'll do, I'll try to ping PC zero by saying ping 192.168.0.100. And you can see that the ping this time is successful. If I were to use a trace route,
you can see that the trace route is being completed successfully. There's only one hop away, which is 192.168.1.1, which is the, the gateway of the PC. If I go back to PC0 and go back to my, my CLI, and you can see here that that ping has failed. But if I issue it again, you can see that the ping has been successful. So that's it folks for this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our future tutorials and tech insights. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop a comment below. I read all your comments and I'm here to assist you. Remember, consistency and hands-on practice are key to success. Stay curious, stay inspired, and until next time, peace.